In this video, we are going to explore the new Hi-Fi Rose RS-130 network transport. Let's get started. Hi-Fi Rose is a company that is part of SciTech, a South Korean company that has been building custom hardware and software products for over 50 years. Being that one of the head executives of SciTech is a huge music lover themselves, he set out to start a division of the company that focused on high-end audio with fun, easy-to-use products to wring out all the performance from digital audio. Now in 2017, Hi-Fi Rose was born to tackle this very task. Now the RS-130 looks great out of the box like all of Hi-Fi Rose's products. The casework and finish show that Hi-Fi Rose wanted to show their design chops with the RS-130. From the 15.4 inch screen and the crystal function buttons to the Hi-Fi Rose insignia milled into the top of the case, they upped the game with this one. The back panel looks equally impressive with high quality jacks with good markings to let you know what the jack's purpose was. There's even a chart to help you configure the I2S output jack to connect to your DAC. Hi-Fi Rose took the time to think of any conceivable situation this product could possibly be in. From the optical and copper network and USB input connections, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, USB 3.0, USB DAC, I2S with multiple pin configuration, optical, coax, AES, EBU, and an HDMI 2.0 port specifically for 4K video output. In all high-end audio, the power supply is an often overlooked component that has a huge effect on the resulting sound quality of a piece of gear. Hi-Fi Rose took a very close look into this and as a result, went with a traditional overbuilt linear power supply with a twist. The large power transformer sends its power to what Hi-Fi Rose calls a super capacitor. When this capacitor is charged, it will be what sends the power to the other sections of the RS-130, much like having a battery. Having this capacitor stage in the power supply gives the benefit of a lower power supply noise reaching the components in the RS-130, thus giving a cleaner and more natural sound quality. The RS-130 is a flagship high-end hub for all of your digital streaming and local files. This music information has to be able to reach your DAC in its purest form, but must also be timed correctly to reduce jitter. Hi-Fi Rose decided to include an OCXO clock. Most crystal clocks are very accurate with one exception, temperature. As the temperature changes, the crystal will drift off its desired center frequency, changing its oscillating performance and effect timing. The oven controlled part of the OCXO controls the temperature the crystal sees allowing it to work at its best. The oven controlled crystal oscillator is well known as the most accurate clock used in audio and allows the RS-130 to output a jitter free signal to your DAC. While having a great internal clock system vastly improves the signal coming out of the RS-130, having the ability to sync the clocks between the RS-130 and your DAC will take jitter reduction to a supreme level. Having this option is a first for Hi-Fi Rose, and if your DAC is compatible with clock synchronization, the results can be stunning. Think of this like you would a timing chain of an engine. If this chain is not in place, the timing of the valves would be out of time with the pistons and the engine wouldn't run well. Having this timing chain allows the moving parts of the engine to stay in time, making a perfectly timed engine. This of course is an analogy as the RS-130 will work and sound great without the master clock input used, but having your source component timed with your DAC allows a perfectly timed delivery of your data for your DAC to decode into analog. This perfect timing has a big impact on sound quality and music enjoyment. And if you have any questions on this technology or if your DAC is compatible, please just give us a call or chat with us at audioadvice.com and we'd be happy to help. Having a 15.4 inch high definition touchscreen gives people the option to physically interact with the RS-130 if they choose to do so. The screen has all the options and settings that the app has, so you have choices in the way that you want to control the RS-130. The way that most people will choose to interact and control the RS-130 is probably through their Rose Connect app. Now this app is available on Mac, Windows, Android, and iOS, and this gives users the option to control it with their phone or just by using the touchscreen on the front, whatever they prefer. The streaming services supported are Tidal, Kobuz, Apple Music, and Bugs. The RS-130 is Rune Ready and has Spotify Connect. Hi-Fi Rose also has their own curated music and video streaming services with Rose Internet Radio, Rose Tube, and Rose Podcast. 
Now, having a 4K HDMI port means playing video is fully supported, so if you have any video content in any of the major formats used today, the RS-130 will play it in top quality using the app to control the content. Using the RoseTube service through the app, you can watch YouTube music videos in the best quality available. Also, if you are a movie buff, but like things left in two channel, you can watch your movies through the RS-130 for ultimate quality. This is not something seen on many streamers, but Hi-Fi Rose wanted an all-in-one solution for any type of content that you may want to play. Now, if you have a CD collection and you want to access them, Hi-Fi Rose has you covered with a CD ripping feature. Using a CD drive like Hi-Fi Rose's own RSA 780, you can do that with the RS-130 and have all of your music instantly available. You can even add an SSD to the underside here or on the back and save all of your music on it. Now there's also an SSD hard drive inside that serves a different purpose in the RS-130. All music played from a connected USB flash drive, hard drive, or network streaming, it is first cached onto that inboard hard drive. Now this eliminates any worry about issues with noise from a spinning external drive or delay errors that happen when you're network streaming. Now if you've ever heard stuttering or stumbling out of a bad network stream, you know how annoying that this can be. And we thank Hi-Fi Rose for adding this feature as it's a huge help. When Hi-Fi Rose decided to design the RS-130, they wanted to build a streamer slash transport that produced a clean signal to any given DAC that would produce the lowest noise floor and the most vivid sonic image possible. Part of the way that they were able to do this is to take advantage of current technologies in computer networking. Now for many years, fiber optic cables have been used to transmit data for long distances with zero loss. For audio, the main characteristic of fiber optic is that it transmits only light, meaning the typical issues with copper ethernet cables are abolished. EMI, RFI, and other types of noise and distortions just simply aren't picked up and transmitted. This connection is also safer as it will not let any electrical surges or spikes through the optical cable and into the RS-130. Not only does the RS-130 have fiber ethernet, it also has fiber USB. So whether you are connecting long runs or just want the noise canceling effects of transmitting your digital music in its purest form, the RS-130 has you covered. One thing worth noting is while the RS-130 has the jacks in the back for both fiber ethernet and fiber USB, it will take a purchase of additional hardware that is not included with the RS-130. These items are generally low cost and easily found online. Our great team at Audio Advice specializes in these types of setups and can steer you in the right direction. We paired the RS-130 with the brand new reference Macintosh MCD-12000 reference DAC CD SACD player and Sonos Faber Amati speakers. This reference level system was the best way to see if Hi-Fi Rose truly delivered with the RS-130. Now the Rose Connect app was very easy to navigate, and once we learned the screens, we were flying around the app playing music. Haley Williams' 2020 album, Pedals for Armor, has great studio work and mastering. The song Dead Horse is a favorite of ours and can really show the ability of a system with soundstage width and depth while keeping the bass tight and high smooth and detailed. The RS-130 delivered a flawless performance streamed from Kobuz and showed us how much difference a flagship streamer can make. Now compared to lesser streamers, the RS-130 was able to showcase all of the detail in this album without any of the harshness or grain of lesser products. Produced in 2013, Sound City Reel to Reel is an album with a cool backstory about an old 70s studio and a mixing console. This album also has very good studio work and is a handful of legend status musicians on the bill. From Can to Can't is a favorite on this album, and taking the helm of lead singer is the legendary singer Corey Taylor. This song starts off in a slow and melodic way, and with the RS-130 feeding the data, this part came through with all of the detail, but also keeping the tense emotion alive within the mix. When the song builds and enters the chorus parts, it is in full drive, all while staying musical. Having the ability to deliver this much detail to your DAC all while keeping the music smooth all day long and comfortable is no easy task for a streamer network transport to do. Now as long as you have the DAC that meets this high bar, the RS-130 will give it what it needs to be its best. After spending time with the RS-130, we can say with absolute assurance that it absolutely delivers. At its price, it is not cheap as far as streamers go, but it does so much more than most streamers can do. It can stream, handle network stored files, Rune, Spotify Connect, and even stream video from YouTube or any stored video or movies. With the Rose Connect app, you can take charge and control everything with your input. 
To put it bluntly, the RS-130 feels like the future to us and how digital music delivery should be done. If you have a DAC that can fully resolve what it can deliver, then with the Hi-Fi Rose RS-130, you will have the ultimate digital music platform. If you would like to talk about the tech inside the RS-130 further, or if you have decided to take your digital music life to the next level, please call or chat with us at audioadvice.com and we can definitely help you out. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.